to Dr. O Solutions. My name is Oleg Nikishin. I'm Master of Science, Naturopathic Doctor and Drugless Practitioner. And today's topic is ozone inhalation and ozone breathing. Uh, so, but before I will continue, we have to do the FDA disclosure and OSHA uh, disclosure as well. So, how and why would you breathe ozone? Obviously, ozone is a very uh, powerful oxidizer. You cannot breathe it. It's going to choke you right out. As soon as you, if high concentration of ozone hits your throat, you're going to have that feeling of the chokeness. It just, it just oh, and that's it. You can't, you can't even, even, even breathe it anymore. So, but when you bubble it through the oil, ozone uh, losing its oxidative potency and you really can breathe it after that with no problem at all. So when the ozone bubbles through the oil it creates so-called ozonides uh, and, to, and we use oz, uh, olive um, uh, virgin oil for this as you can see it, we fill up our canister for a little bit more than halfway up and when we put uh, olive oil why we use olive oil? Because olive oil has very high omega-6 um, uh, content in it, and this is uh, this is why it's absorbing um, um, oxidative potency of ozone and stays clear. Uh, so this is this is this is very very important to use that kind of oil. If you use any other kind of oil you will see it's, it, it's going to lose its, clear, its clarity and it's going to have some chunks flowing in it. So get olive oil and use olive, olive oil. So as you receive our uh, breathing kit, you will, see the, you will see it comes with a small manual. And the manual will say the best to use between one and one and a half liter uh, per minute flow. Uh, so for kids, uh, we use much less. We start. Uh, we use sometimes quarter, a half liter per minute. Depends. Depends on, on obviously on the patient uh, and on the person. If you're afraid or the person afraid to breathe it, or oh, I don't know, so turn in the quarter liter per minute, very slow, even one eight. So it's going to start bubbling. I can show you just in a minute, even in one eight, and have them feel it how it's going in and have that relaxed, good feeling of uh, freshness, fresh air, and um, as soon as they adapt to this, you can increase the flow. So we have, um, uh, we have two different kits. This is most affordable plastic bottle, and this is, uh, this is a glass container, costs a little bit, a little, little, little more. Uh, so you, we have for kits for your, for your budget. Uh, now let me show you how to how to actually connect it, how to use it. Uh, so our kits connect directly to ozone generator. You connect it to it. Okay, here is our medical tank. Make sure you use oxygen filter. We have it in stock, regardless if this industrial tank or medical tank. It's best practice to use medical filter. So, as you can see, I'm going to put one eight liter per minute. It's already start bubbling. See, it's nice and foamy, so that means coming out. So, you connect a cannula to it. Okay. And you sit and breathe and relax. That's how it works. So it's 1.8, obviously I, I need to increase the flow. It's a half a liter per minute. Uh, if you want to, you can do a three quarter, even the, the, the liter. Now I can feel it. I can feel it. A lot of, a lot of uh, fresh uh, ozone. It's not ozone, it feels like fresh oxygen coming, coming, coming into me. So let's say I'm gonna put it in a three quarter or, or half. So, and then you sit for half an hour sometimes, uh, if the, uh, you can do 15 or 20 minutes, it depends. 
it's, it's up to you. Absolutely, it's up to you. So that's kit, kit number number one, and that has a glass. Uh, with the glass container, after you bubble ozone through the oil, for instance, maybe for an hour or so, you will see the oil will become a little bit milky, and it's going to be a little bit whitish. That means the oil losing its potency of absorbing ozone. You have to change it, otherwise you're going to have more ozone, clear, pure ozone coming out of it, and you feel like you want to. It feels like you have an itchy, itchiness in the throat, and you want to cough it. As soon as you feel like you're coughing, that means your oil does not absorb any ozone. Change it. Uh, for inhaling uh, therapies. In Europe what they do when they uh, bubble ozone through the oil then they use it for GI tract uh, therapies. So in other words they take one tablespoon and swallow it and this is, will take care of your stomach issues and your uh, small intestine issues, H. pylori, so on and so forth. Uh, so the oil doesn't have to be extremely potent, it usually, usually uh, half an hour uh, bubbling, it creates enough uh, ozonated properties in the oil in order to do the treatments of a GI tract. So again, uh, this, 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 this bubbler you can use uh, home ozonated oil for your topical application as well. But be careful when you ozonate a lot, number one, you're going to have ozone escaping because as soon as oil is getting a little bit whitish, you're going to have pure ozone coming out, you'll need to use destructor. And we do have destructor for this. You can buy it and attach destructor right to it, and then you can do it. Second is going to start bubbling out and push oil out of it, so you're going to do, if you do it too much, you will destroy destructor. Second, if it's going to get hard, you're not going to get out. <laughs> you can't pull, pull the, uh, the pour oil out of the, of the glass container. It's going to be hard. So this is one, uh, one just a word of caution. Now, let me connect to another, uh, to ozone generator, another bubbler. So this is glass bubbler, so we call it, we have it. Uh, this is most more affordable solution. Again, the procedure is the same, you connect two. Let me put one eight liter per minute. Yes, you can start, it start bubbling. Again, I gotta put it. This is half a liter per minute, for instance. As you can see, it doesn't create such a tiny bubbles, uh, but it still, it's, it still absorbs the ozone com completely. So I can smell it, and there's no problem. Procedure is the same, you connect candle to it. Just like that, and you sit and, and, and breathe, uh, and, and breathe, and uh, do your therapy. So it's, this is very simple. Okay, what condition would you use, and what therapy would you use this this inhalation uh, ozone therapy is for? Uh, obviously, any condition, any respiratory condition associated uh, with uh, infections infectious diseases as a uh, pneumonia, as a lung cancer, bronchitis, some forms of asthma, not every asthma, but some forms of asthma. If you do not know, if you do have asthma and you don't know would it help for you or not, find someone who knows, really knows your blood work, really knows um, your blood chemistry, go to your practitioner or call, call us and uh, consult them first. Uh, what you should watch for in the blood number it, it, that, that is warning uh, it's a co2 level in the blood if you do have high co2 level in the blood meaning you have up almost 30 29 30 that means it's your co2 level, level way too high you have a problem with the lungs carrying co2 out of your body so bringing more oxygen to it is not going to help you in this condition or if you have emphysema, this is other uh, uh, dangerous condition uh, because emphysema associated with the lung hardness and breathing ozone, even if it's uh, ozonated through the oil, it can be the issue for you. First contact your healthcare uh, practitioner. 
So other than that, pretty much anyone can use it. If you're tired, if you feel like you need more oxygen, if you have a headache, if you have uh, any respiratory condition, include, including a sinus condition, uh, anything is, is, so to speak, up and above, it will work uh, very well for you. Now, as usually, uh, I want to give you another hint. Uh, always have vitamin C with you. In case you over-oxidize yourself with ozone too much, mean, meaning you, you start coughing, you feel like itchiness, and it doesn't go away, and you feel scary, because it's like, oh, I don't know, it, does, it just stays with me. Okay, take one tablet, this, this is a thousand milligram tablets, two tablets, even three tablets, and vitamin C will deactivate ozone in you, in the blood, and then will deactivate ozone in your mucosal lining within 10 to 15 minutes. So we have a few uh, cases like that, and it, it helps a lot. Uh, when the uh, uh, person uh, got um, feeling the scratchiness, like it's over oxidized, it's got scared, so I get three tablets, 10 minutes, that condition is gone. So that's pretty much it, that's it for uh, ozone breathing and ozone inhaling. Uh, so we have um, Medical Ozone Research Group in the Facebook. This is, this is a group. You have to ask to join, and we'll approve you. Join it, carry uh, the, uh, give us your opinion, uh, write down your experience, ask the questions, all you can do in that group. So you can ask other uh, fellow uh, members in the group, or there are quite a few doctors in the group. You can ask them a question, you can ask me a question in that group. I will, I will answer your question in the group, or you can email us. So we have a Facebook page as well, go there, like us, share this video if you like it, give us a thumbs up and give us your opinion and tell us what you think of it and how ozone therapy worked for you. Um, so that's all for this video folks, we'll see you in the next one.